Hi, we are at the Combine Naval Event 2024 in Farnborough, UK, and now we are going to take a deep dive into the Dutch naval programs with Captain André van der Kamp. Captain, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Xavier. Thank you for your time to answer a few of my questions. So you are the head of uh, maritime projects at uh, COMIT, which is the Dutch Defense Procurement Agency. So what is the latest with uh, the Dutch fleet? Well, to be honest, the Dutch fleet is going to be replaced in total, except for one ship. That's quite a big uh, challenge. Uh, at the moment, uh, we're running a program well, uh, of uh, almost 30 big ships. And if I count the smaller ships with it, then it's in total 80 ships. So the next 10 to 15 years, the whole fleet will be replaced. Wow. Uh, so chronologically, uh, can you go guide us through uh, all these uh, very important programs? Yes, well, first of all, we're going to have a, a new tanker that is going to be uh, commissioned uh, next year. At the moment, it's being built in Romania and it will uh, sail to the Netherlands uh, later this year. And next year, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, commissioned. Secondly, um, we have the ASW frigate, which is going to replace our M frigates. It's a combined program with uh, the Belgians. We are leading it. We are uh, heavily uh, cooperating with uh, the Belgians. So we are in charge of that uh, project. Uh, it's going to consist out of uh, four uh, ASWFs, uh, anti-submarine warfare frigates, two for us and two for the Belgians. Apart from that, uh, because we are working closely together with the Belgians, they are in charge of our replacement for the mine hunters. So that's also a separate uh, project. Um, we will have uh, six uh, MCMVs for the Netherlands and also six uh, MCMVs for Belgium. At the moment, they're being built by Naval in uh, Lorient, uh, the first two, and the other ones will be built in Romania. And Belgium is in uh, charge of that. Uh, project. Apart from that, uh, we also have auxiliary vessels, and I said uh, we're going to replace the whole uh, the whole fleet. So we also have uh, ten auxiliary vessels with uh, various uh, uh, tasks like hydrographic uh, training, uh, support for uh, submarines and diving vessels. So we're going to replace them by eight identical uh, vessels. Um, I expect the RFQ later this year. They're going to be built in the Netherlands, but uh, it's open for competition to a couple of wars in uh, the Netherlands. And apart from that, we have the submarines. I'm pretty sure you know it's, it has been in the news. We're also going to replace uh, uh, the submarines. Uh, you're also looking at uh, replacing your amphibious vessels as well as OPVs with a single class of ships. Yes, uh, so uh, we're thinking of, we have four OPVs and two big amphibious ships. So we want to replace them by six small amphibious uh, ships. The Marines have uh, uh, constructed a new concept. They don't want to go with a big ship close to shore anymore, like uh, D-Day, uh, Saving Private Ryan, that sort of stuff. So the ships will be smaller, with also smaller but faster uh, connectors. And they're going to be uh, launched further uh, ashore. It's going to be uh, six uh, ships in total. And apart from the fact that they are amphibious ships, they can also uh, be sent to the Caribbean to act as a, a Coast Guard vessel and a counter drugs uh, vessel. Uh, I believe you also currently are involved in a program to upgrade the current uh, LCF vessel and further down the road in about 10 years you'll replace them with uh, next generation air defense uh, frigates. Can you share a word about this? Yes, uh, the, the LCF or the ADCF are well, good ships, but fairly old. So we have an, uh, an upkeep uh, program with a new weapon system like uh, torpedoes, uh, harpoon uh, replacement, uh, tomahawk, uh, uh, ECM, ESM. So that's uh, one project because they have to sail a little bit longer. Um, and uh, apart from that, we also have a project which just started to replace them by the future air defender. So we're thinking of a, a, uh, an, uh, a big ship uh, with uh, short, medium and long range uh, missile and we call that a family of missiles because we have two canisters and they should fit in all those uh, canisters um, to, 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 to deal with the th uh, present threat. Which can also be uh, ballistic missile defense and, uh, but also small drones. So it should uh, tackle all threats we have at the moment. As uh, we saw in the, currently in the, in the Red Sea. Uh, regarding the uh, LCF, so you mentioned the Tomahawk. I believe there will be uh, in the near future uh, test firing in the, in the US. Can you share a word about this? Yes, we're working on uh, Tomahawk. We want to have the Tomahawk on board of the, our present ADCS, but also on our pre present Walrus class uh, submarines uh, to have more strike uh, capability. And of course, the Tomahawk should also be implemented on the new future air defender and also on the new uh, submarines. And this year, uh, in October, in the Pacific, nearby uh, San Diego, we're going to do a uh, first of class launch with Tomahawk on board of uh, uh, the writer. Uh, I believe uh, one of the last uh, but uh, 
in Poland as well program. Uh, you're looking at a novel concept, uh, low manning vessels with the modularity to deploy systems, weapons and so on. Yes. Well, to be honest, ships get bigger. Uh, but with less people. When I started uh, in the Navy, figures had 300 uh, people on board. Now the ASWF has only 120 people on board. So we need to, it's a new concept. Uh, it also has something, uh, you also need to support it. So instead of having an engineer on, on four different uh, ships, you have that engineer ashore and he needs to direct the people on board in how to uh, maintain and how to repair equipment if necessary. But we're definitely looking in uh, low manning. So including with that new program, it used to be called Trific, and the, and the new name is? Yeah, so the new name is uh, MECAN, Modular Integrated Capability for ADCF and North Sea. So it consists of uh, two uh, commercial of the shells uh, cutters, small ones, and we want to add uh, modular uh, weapon uh, systems like uh, ECM or maybe a, uh, a SAM missile uh, or um, loitering ammunition. And it needs to, uh, we're going to add it to the present ADCF, so not integrated, but it's something that we want because otherwise we need to wait 10 years before the new future air defender is going to be uh, FOC. So it's something that should be developed in the next two or three years to add uh, strike capability and uh, uh, to the present frigates. Uh, well, again, as I said, that's uh, very interesting. Something else I learned during this conference you're looking, uh, you're currently studying an USV for anti-submarine warfare to support the anti-submarine warfare frigates. Uh, that's, uh, that's very interesting and uh, I don't think any other navies is uh, doing that uh, right now. So these USVs will be, should be deployed from the ASWF as a mother ship. Uh, how is this uh, testing progressing? Yeah, it's a new concept. So the ASWF uh, will take a, a USV with him. It's uh, not so big, 12 uh, meters. We're looking into how to develop it because it's a new uh, project. We cannot uh, buy it uh, off the shelf. Uh, we're thinking of putting a dipping sonar on board and it will also add a little, you can compare it a little bit with the uh, MECAM. You know, you add capability to a uh, existing uh, capability, which is now the ASWF. Very well, uh, Captain Randenkamp, uh, thank you so much for this overview of the uh, current and future uh, Royal Netherlands Navy uh, programs. Uh, it's really interesting and I look forward to see how they uh, progress uh, in, the, in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Javier, for this uh, interview. Thank you.